Well, school is almost out for the summer. Many parents worrying about their children putting learning on hold while they're busy playing for three months. So our career expert uh, Kim McNicholas joins us this morning with some tips on how to keep learning this summer, but also have some fun at the same time. And Kim, the key word here, fun. It's definitely yeah. fun. And they can do that. And that's why Krishna is the CEO of a company called Tinker.com, Tinker with a Y. Mm -hmm. And that's where kids can learn how to code. And I believe that coding is fast becoming um, as basic as reading, writing, and arithmetic. Really? And kids Kids huh. are learning that at earlier and earlier ages. Mm -hmm. And on his site, it's actually incredibly fun. Out of all the sites out there, they can build video games, they can build greeting cards. I mean, kids are playing video games anyway this summer, right? So right. why not actually build those video games themselves? I mean, how cool would it actually be if a kid said to one of their friends, hey, I built this video game myself, mm -hmm. or they say, hey, you want to help me build a video game and then we can play it? Yeah, let's go play my game. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And the same goes for, for greeting cards cards as well. Why go to Hallmark.com and buy an animated greeting card? Mm -hmm. Kids can actually build these it's greeting amazing. cards themselves. Great idea, Krishna. Thank yeah, you. I'm really curious though, Krishna, um, in, in terms of your perspective, why is it important for kids to learn at an earlier age? I mean, kids as early as kindergarten are on your site actually learning how to code. So this technology is changing our lives, like mm -hmm. kids' lives, in you know, mobile phones, apps, you know, Fitbits and, you know, fuel <laughs> vans, right? So even kids are learning uh, through iPads and online mediums. So it's important for kids to understand the language of technology, which is coding. Right. Just like they're learning any other foreign language when they're young. Mm. So, you know, that's, that's how they should learn coding and use that skill as a life skill. Have you found that kids at a young age, just like learning a foreign language, can adapt to it much more easily than adults can? You know, if you take away the syntax of, from coding, it's all logic. So mm -hmm. if you give these kids logic through like Lego-like blocks, they can organize them and they can understand how things work immediately and then build on these uh, little concepts and they can use these concepts to build like really creative things like games, art, music, as you're suggesting. And I think we have some video of, of actually um, a snowman greeting card. Absolutely. Oh, oh, there, there it, is. it is. There it is. There you okay. go. And you can actually see right here um, the finished greeting card and, and pretty soon you'll see the actual blocks. But what's interesting is that kids on this site in the earliest days of your site are not necessarily learning the coding language. They're just pretty much seeing how coding works in a sense. It's almost like having a set of Legos and putting the Legos and putting the building blocks together, correct? That's right. So what we do is we give them games. First, uh, kids want to play games. We give yeah. them games. In the games, they have to program the character and as they pro to progress the game and they, as they're pro uh, programming the character they're learning the concepts once they learn the concepts we give them simple tools and tutorials where they mm -hmm. can build their own creations like these uh, these grading cards or Excuse me, is that what we're seeing on the left? Is that they're, so, they're building so the they're, blocks So that's here? the Lego-like blocks, and uh -huh. they're connecting them to make that the characters on that right side on the screen, where oh. the animated, like snowman, or there's other, other animated things where it's like a game. So it's a little bit, a little bit more advanced game this is, but yeah. there's lots of simple games, like in Mother's Day cards, Father's Day cards. You know, for example, my son asked me, you know, that he wanted a pet. I said, you know, we can get it in a couple of years. He said, you know what, I'm going to use my coding skills to make a virtual toy. Till a you get virtual me a pet. pet. <laughs> and so, I'm, I'm sorry, adults would benefit from this as well? Absolutely. I mean, you know, coding is a language of technology, so it's never too late to learn. Yeah. And there are a million sites out there that, that people can learn Similar to code. To this, uh -huh. And I've been on, on tons of them, especially I have goddaughters that are just, you know, getting into the learning age, and it's nice to have them be able to go on to a site like this and do mm -hmm. it. But um, there are a million out there that, that you can get on. This is just the most fun. But you have Khan Academy is also one of my favorites, K-H-A-N, Khan Academy. It's a free learning site um, oh, there they are, for yeah. all kinds of different subjects. But you can actually, Sal Khan, who's the CEO, tells me that you can actually learn to code in just one one weekend. I mean, really? you're not going to be able to build the most uh -huh. um, elegant and elaborate websites and, and such, but you'll be able to at least know some of the fundamentals. CodeSchool.com, Code Academy, Code Avengers is also actually a pretty fun one for kids to get on and learn to code as well. I'd be happy to be make a card. <laughs> Similar to one we just I go saw. on there. It's really fun, actually. <laughs> it looks like a great time, and it looks very easy, which of course is the key here to get the fundamentals down. I think it's, yeah, as you said, fun is the key concept for yeah. kids. Yeah. Uh, is there a difference in terms of girls versus boys in learning this? I think it's always interest driven if you can introduce coding through the activities they love. 
then it's much better. So good boys tend to make a lot of video games, the girls tend to make a lot of other artsy things as well as games. Uh -huh. So if you introduce coding through that, their interest, then they get engaged. And I think the, the key is with, with their side and, and what the little girls that I've worked with, mm -hmm. um, you know, are really interested in are the greeting cards. Those sure. are so much fun to make. And yeah. that's why I think, especially with their site, the video games for boys and the mm -hmm. greeting cards for girls. Krishna, in the time we have left, that greeting card that we saw up there, what age would you be targeting to help have them put that together? I think at the different levels, uh, that probably in the middle schools and later, later middle on. Middle school, okay. And you know, there's lots of simple, like, you know, Halloween cards, simple cards, simple games they can build as early as like third grade or second grade. Mm -hmm. What's the youngest child you've had working on this? You know, we had an iPad app that lots of these, uh, you know, first graders uh, use to uh -huh. uh, make simple things. So it's very easy to kind of get them going if you can introduce them in their, you know, with their interests. That's the key. And, yeah. the, and also the key is it's not just for kids that want to go into the STEM fields, mm -hmm. science, technology, engineering, and math. It's literally for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's a great idea, and congratulations on that. Thank you very much. Okay, Krishna, Kim, thank you so much. Yeah, we'll be right back. Us.